say there's two nuts there, the white nuts which are holding the actual system itself into place. They're going to have to come out in order for you to really replace the main system. So you need to reach under the toilet and unscrew those manually, either with your hand or if they're too tight, with a wrench or a pair of pliers. Done that and you've removed the two bolts that are there. You should see the bottom there, they've both been removed. This section will actually remove forward and you'll be able to put it onto the top of the toilet or onto the floor and you'll be able to unscrew the bracket at the base of this which is there look and also you've got a new rubber gasket seal and you should be able to swap it straight over and replace it. The rubber gasket seal will go at the base of your system and then you will tighten this up as tightly as possible to hold it in place before replacing your system unit back into place on the rear of the toilet which is there. So you replace it there in the system, screw the base on to hold it in place and then the whole system will go back into place on the rear of the toilet where you can then proceed to put the two fixing bolts back in which will couple it to the toilet and hold it in place. For reference, you have two new fixing bolts there. Once you've replaced the, new, the old unit with the new, you'll move on to the valve, which is the inlet valve for the water. And this will go through the hole, which the original one was in, which is there, down into the pipe. You'll start by unscrewing the end of this. It has on it a new rubber grommet to replace the old one so there's no new leaks or seals. And also, the coupling device there which is used to seal it. Once you seal this, please make sure it is as tight as possible so that there's no water ingress or out from this that can leak anywhere which could cause any damage. The inlet valve in, you then reconnect the water pipe by usually if you it's got a standard screw it will screw in and you'll screw it in as far as possible into the pipe to make the connection. Please make sure that's nice and tight. If you've got any slight water or any issues, use a slight bit of PTFE tape just to make the seal, but you shouldn't need it because you've got new rubber grommets, which should give you a nice firm seal. When it's in place, please make sure that the top sits across the square top like this, which will then allow you to slide it up or down and, effect and alter the water level as you need to and as you, as you wish for it to be. There is also an overflow pipe in there, which can be put into the standard overflow to drain off any excess water that may come through and can get rid of. When you're satisfied it's all reconnected, if you turn the isolator valve back, you should hear the water and it will start refilling. Check for any leaks. If there's any sign of any leaks, stop it, but you should see the water will start to refill. and we'll fully refill the system tank. At this time, you can look at the push buttons, which is really straightforward. On your old push button section, there'll be a swivel, simply push it clockwise, it will be anti-clockwise to unscrew. Unscrew the old one. Once it's unscrewed, it will simply pop through, like so. You can then simply get the new one, unscrew this and replace it into the same hole as the previous one, like so, before refixing the top, refixing this in place, which can be done in seconds. I strongly recommend that you take a note of the length of the old legs because you're going to need to put the new ones in and ideally they need to be the same height as the old ones. On the thread you will have this, there's a thread side and a non-thread side. The non-thread side is for cutting and also altering. You will screw them in place, get them to the same size as your previous ones. If you need to, they can be cut down they can be removed but make them at the same height make sure it's in the right position 
so that it's focused over the top of your new system and that the buttons are actually making contact like this when it, when the top sits flush so that you can either have your half flush which will be one button or your full flush which will be the separate button so you can have the half or the full and that's got to sit flush and needs to be cut to the same size or screwed in to the same size as the old one otherwise it will continuously drain